Hey everyone, Terrence here from Guy News Gamer. Welcome to my very first vlog where I'm going to be talking about what, uh, the cards that I picked up in the last week or so. Um, this is going to be a new thing that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing this for about a year to see how it goes and then maybe continue it after that. Um, where I'm going to be just talking about the stuff that I have picked up in the trading card game community. Um, you guys probably know I play a lot of Pokemon and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and I collect a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of other games too that I collect. Uh, so I figured why not showcase the stuff that I've picked up and then talk yeah, about how my win. week went in the trading card game community. Um, so you guys can expect to, uh, these videos to uh, pop up every 7 to 10 days. But I got a lot of cool stuff to go over, so uh, without further ado, let's get into this and uh, we can start talking about some trading card games. Um, I guess the first thing I did this week uh, was I went to this shop here um, looking at their trades. Um, as you can see, there's not too many amazing cards in this binder. It's a breaking control. Um, but uh, I don't know, looking through their stuff, uh, they're a newer store. Uh, they're not really big in Yu Gi Oh! They don't host any Yu Gi Oh! tournaments, but they have a lot of singles. Um, and they have a, a, a lot of old stuff. Uh, you go through this and there's a whole bunch of old stuff so there's a little stack up there that I'm going to be going through shortly um, to show you guys what I was able to pick up at amazing prices you guys are going to be amazed when I tell you how much uh, they want for that little stack up there um, there's a smashing ground but uh, I don't know I had, I had a pretty good time at this store there's a lot of stuff I picked up um, but we'll get to all that um, but let's go through these uh, blue eyes ultimate dragon from Shonen Jump uh, magazine then we got a blue eyes white dragon from legend of blue eyes first edition it's uh, American or English first edition um, so that's uh, it's pretty hot there um, then we got this um, elemental hero thing from a Mattel toy a elemental hero Stratos uh, from Shonen Jump and a dark magician LOB first edition um, believe it or not they actually look these card prices up um, whatever they had them priced on and uh, they offered me the entire stack for $21 guys $21 um, if you guys know how um, rare it is to find LB first edition, like English, English stuff, um, $21 is amazing. Blue Eyes alone, um, or the Dark Magician alone, um, is worth uh, quite a bit. So I'm pretty glad that I um, spent the time to come down to the store. Um, one of my buddies who actually plays Force of Will is actually in a Force of Will tournament as I speak um, at this shop. Um, so. Thanks to him, I was able to pick this stuff up. But then they have a lot of Magic the Gathering stuff, too. Um, I obviously collect a whole bunch of the stuff. There's some uh, pretty awesome lands and an ancestral recall there. Um, their Magic stuff is obviously priced out um, as Magic stuff is. And I don't know why I'm doing a close-up of a Pokemon tin, but I am. Uh, Pokemon tin. Um, but man, these, uh, these are some spicy cards. Um, and I actually didn't take a video of the, um, the uncut sheet they have on the wall, but they have a pretty awesome foil uncut sheet uh, for Magic the Gathering that I'm hopefully going to be getting here in the next uh, couple weeks. Um, but then you go down here and you look at all of their uber rares. Um, as you guys know, I'm like the rare hunter for all the games, but um, Force Will, so I'm actually going to be picking up a whole bunch of these uber rares, and then I'll showcase uh, which ones I pick up later on in this video. Um, but as you can see, there's some spicy cards, guys. Some pretty spicy cards. Um, like I said, definitely worth coming to the store. Um, for me, there's a Flareon, old school Flareon there. And they actually had the um, Pokemon 2000 or whichever ones the, the, the three Pikachu cards came out of. Um, and then some more old school um, Magic the Gathering stuff. I don't know, just overall, overall a great location. Um, I guess I like them because they gave me a great deal on that stack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which is, um, once again, I mean the, be the, the best part of my week. Um, that was like the biggest highlight. Um, but enough of this shop. Let's get back to looking w at what I picked up for the week. Um, as you can see here, I have a huge Pokemon card in front of me. It's a Mega EX um, Super Shiny card. I don't, I don't even know why I have that. But uh, I don't know. 
I, I didn't have it before and I have it now so I figured hey why not just bring the giant Pokemon card as you can see uh, thanks to my buddy Roman um, I was able to pick up a whole bunch of energies here Pokemon League um, energies so um, I don't know if I'm gonna use these as tokens for Yu-Gi-Oh or tokens for anything or what I'm gonna do uh, but if you guys have these to or not these tokens if you guys have these energies I actually collect uh, these energies or any of the Pokemon League energies in general not even these because um, I don't know they they look the best to me um, and they're just something that I want to keep collecting um, so that's kind of what I picked up for Pokemon um, I actually ended up doing a cube I'm probably gonna get um, some cubing footage um, this next week here if you guys know what a cube is it's like Yu-Gi-Oh draft with like a whole bunch of band cards in it and stuff it's definitely not meta I know you guys like to see meta I actually uh, won uh, that tournament this week and I picked up all these Pokemon packs um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be opening any of these or not. I have a huge sealed collection for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon Magic, like every card game out there. Um, and I picked up one really crappy Magic pack because I don't have it in my collection yet. Even though it was a crappy pack, I figured winning a tournament and getting 8 packs, not a bad idea to pick that up. And then, of course, the uh, OTS 3 pack, uh, which I have about uh, 30 of now in my collection. Probably going to end up uh, opening a bunch of those. I'm only missing a few cards. The two ultis and that rare fish. Um, but then once again, um, in my possession, the Blue Eyes White Dragon LOE First Edition. Um, this is the entire stack that I got for 21. And as you can see, there's a couple Pokemon. There's the Stratos again. Stratos. Super banned card, but uh, I don't know. I really like it. Um, that Mattel card. Uh, Dark Magician LOE First Ed. English English and then the blue eyes ultimate dragon from uh, the Shonen Jump magazine um, I had the one a while ago and uh, I don't know it got bent somehow and then uh, too much amps first edition from base set obviously not shadowless they're very shadow full but they're still first edition cards from an old set and then to the force of will stuff um, as you can see I ended up picking up like every single uber rare and that cat lady that apparently doesn't have pants on uh, picked her up because apparently um, they ended up reprinting it and censoring the card so that one's worth quite a bit more than the um, than the other print but man look at all these uber rares can't really go wrong with uber rares because they look amazing I'm probably gonna end up using these tokens uh, for whatever card games and then I actually ended up picking this force of will 2016 promo binder I'm actually missing three cards the kid who actually sold it to the shop was there but he uh, apparently couldn't get rid of them because his girlfriend would not let him get rid of them damn you girlfriends let me have my cards but that that was a that was another highlight of what I ended up picking up this week um, as you can see the uber rares man um, I wish Yu-Gi-Oh would do something like uber rares they once upon a time kinda did it with secret rares where you could only get like one in a box but then they changed that and then they had like a billion secret rares and then you can definitely get two of them in a box but that's kind of all I have for this video guys if you guys want to leave a comment down below let me know what your favorite part of uh, this week's vlog was what was your favorite thing that I picked up leave a comment down below I'm interested to know what you guys think about this first week here first vlog on uh, the life of a trading card game player um, if you haven't done so already please check out my channel if you like what you see uh, please hit that subscribe button um, and then you'll get all my videos um, when I upload them but uh, once again that's kind of all I have uh, hopefully we'll have another great week um, and if you guys want to see more of these uh, videos, I can obviously make these videos longer. I figured I'd leave this one about 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes long, but uh, you know, I get footage all over um, when I go. So if you guys want to see longer videos talking about this stuff, leave a comment down below. Let me know and I will make that happen. Um, like I said, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and until next week, peace.